say thank you for bringing me up here, Major. Are you absolutely welcome? It's absolutely just almost impossible to articulate what it feels like. That is the real shape of the good earth. It's rather humbling. Center lines, we're decelerating down to 76 knots. see this just it's just incredible if everybody could do that once it would completely change the face of global politics religion education everything thank you skipper it's going to take a while for that to sink in and that was just 13 miles up imagine seeing the earth from almost a quarter of a million miles away the Apollo astronauts saw it for what it really is, nothing more than a dust moat left over from the Big Bang. No wonder it had such an effect on them. Twelve of us got to do that, and so it was a great honor and a, a great privilege, but also a great adventure. I can remember looking back uh, at Earth while we were in lunar orbit, and I held up my hand and underneath my hand was the Earth. Mm. Uh, and that's a real unique perspective. And the thought occurred to me, you know, there's five billion people under my hand. The only thing I can uh, say that the moon has changed since I was on the moon, for me personally, is that I notice it more, I think. <laughs> I, I do. Uh, it catches my eye. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> my wife and I can go out to West Texas and uh, park our car and watch that beautiful moon come up, and we still it's still romantic to me. And I see it as it comes up, and it's beautiful to me, but the thought does occur, I've been there. And that's different uh, than most anybody else on Earth can say. Next on BBC Two, Top Gear invents a new sport, airport vehicle racing. While there's something fishy on BBC Three, see if you can stomach Britain's really disgusting foods. <laughs> <laughs> 